very good morning all the viewers in Nepal and across the globe. We are here at the TU Cricket Ground in Kathmandu, the southern part of the city. This is the Eliminator winners do or die for these teams, Biratnagar Super Kings taking on Kathmandu Knights. Welcome, it's the Eliminator Kathmandu Knights versus Biratnagar Super Kings. Do or die for both teams. I have the captain from Biratnagar Super Kings, Rohit Patel, and from Kathmandu Knights, Gyan Mandra Malla, and the match referee, Mohammed Shafiq. So, Rohit, spin the coin. Head is the call. And it's a tail. So, Rohit, you have won the toss and what you decided to do and why. Uh, we'll bat first. And Birat Nagar have won the toss and they're electing to bat. Arjun South, Gauran Shashama, Rohit Kaurel, the captain, Hussein Talat, Vivek Yadav, Prithu Baskota, Raj Rocky Nanan, Shahab Alam is in. Nanan Yadav, Kion Joseph and Surya Tamang looks a very formidable side. Whereas Kathmandu Knights, they don't have any overseas players. All the playing 11 are local players, Sunam Gautam, Lokesh Bum, Santosh Karki, Gyanan Ramalla, Saurabh Kanal, Kamal Singh Aidi, Rajali, Bashir Ahmed, Karel, Avinash Pora, and Gautam KC. The two opening batsmen from Biratnagar Super Kings on their way in the centre. Biratnagar Super Kings know that uh, they are the team in form. The last game they beat Kathmandu Knights have won three in a row now. So uh, this player in particular has been in, in great form. The other opening batsman, Arjun South. He had a good uh, ODI debut with a 50. Kamal Singh Airi is going to start the proceedings for the Kathmandu Knights from the pavilion end. And he starts off nicely. Going down to third man. And that'll probably calm the nerves for both, both teams. But just when I said <laughs> avoid losing wickets, Kathmandu Knight strike with a beautiful delivery on this pitch. Yeah, he just grabbed, dragged his length a bit backwards. That is a 1x delivery of the innings. And one expat wicket for Kamal Singh Aire. Gauran Jishama gone for one. Viratnagar Super Kings two for one. Oh, that's a good hit. Oh, but not time it. Straight to Anil Kharel admin on. Second wicket down for Anil Kharel. Look at this. Didn't time it as well. He played it away from his body again. He didn't let the ball come to him. He went after the ball. Viratnagar Super Kings five for two. Arjun South goes for two. A good slower ball, hit it down the ground for first one expat maximum. Put it away. And lovely to see Roy Portel do that. He used to keep the scoreboard ticket. Yeah, that was a slower ball, the off cutter on the slot. Roy Portel doesn't miss those. Look at that. A huge six. Well, that's a lovely shot by. Hussein Talat hitting down the ground and just timing it beautifully. This is one X back four. Again down the leg side. Nicely swept down to the boundary. One X back boundary again for Roy Podel. And that's a lovely shot. That's another one X back four. Send of the over. 38 for two. Beautiful shot swept away towards square leg and found the gap. A valiant attempt, but in the end, it was swept in front of square. Definitely no bat involved. And is this going to add insult to injury? Of course it is. Plonks it onto the roof. That's a huge hit. Seven runs to the total. Yeah, one expect maximum for Hussein Talat. Massive, a strong Pakistani, isn't he? Repeats the dose, stay on the ground. Six more. Into the VIP box, it goes. This is brilliant. He's a powerful man. The LBW decision and now more runs into the offside, going to be four of them. The Super Kings are on the charge, going at Anil Karel and Bashir Ahmed. But Lokesh Bam is bowling and it starts with four boys all happening here. I think a bit difficult because of the kickers look. Yeah, we'll see there's a, another boundary. 
I think for got a slow ready. Well, there's another one X back boundary for your team, and I can see the delight on your face. Bit of off speed and bit of everything. I would have expected Gayendra Malla to Lokesh Bam to bowl more of his deliveries to Hussein Talat, which is turning away. That's the only reason I can think of, nothing else, which I feel very, very strange in an important game where it's a do or die. Loser goes home. Why would you take a risk in a big game like this? Question to be asked. Levan gone, 93 for two. Exactly where he looks to target. Goes a bit square out to the media box and over. Brings up the 100 with another maximum. One X bat. Sixer over mid wicket. Just have the feeling when he's when he stands in the stance. Read him so well. I just felt this is gonna happen. Situation of the game. I think this could get quite ugly in the last eight overs here. Unless yes. they find wickets, and that's what they've done. And El Carell strikes. Cleverly bowled this time, throwing outside the awesome and that too not to the front foot, getting Hussein Talat to go to the back foot, rock back and play that cut shot, which he hasn't done it successfully. Hussein Talat gone for 38 of 23. Riyadhnagar Super Kings, 102 for three. Find that wicket of Powell and find it pretty quickly. 175 definitely on. Ah yeah! Well, they've got another, have they? Given out. Delayed and finally the finger goes up. And Pritu Baskota. The two deliveries gone for one. Hirat like 105 for four. Oh, that was well pulled by Rohit Patel down to mid wicket boundary for yet another one X back boundary. Coming down the track. Nanan over the square leg boundary. Again, sweep seat, slot sweep over the boundary. One expect maximum for Rocky. The first one for him, Raj Rocky Nanan. Look at this. He meddled it to perfection. Situation requires. Could this be a big moment? And it is. Brilliant catch. He prays to the heavens. He's got a wicket. And that's the big wicket of the captain, Rowett. First one of this tournament for him. Has bowled very well. I don't know why he was not playing earlier. Look at this catch. A smart catch taken by Saurabh Kanal. Roy Porter gone for 61 of 49. 129 for 5 to Ratham Super Kings. Another full toss down the leg side. Clipped it away for 1x back 4. A very good shot over third man. And 1x back boundary for Vivek Yadav. He is over the third over of the innings. A good strike over extra cover for yet another one x bat boundary for Vivek Kumar Yadav another hit straight towards long on out of the ground he took a catch but out of the roof that is yet another one x bat six for Vivek he exactly knows what he needs to do here in this situation and I'm afraid Kathmandu Knights are not on the money and he's gone again, he's gone big, he's gone up, and he's gone further. Vivek Kumar Yadav, look at this shot, right on the slot. Hit it straight over the cameraman for six. Yeah, he's certainly playing with a toothpick at the moment, and that's another boundary. Oh, and he's finally out. Finally got the wicket, the last ball of the over. But he's been an expensive one. 21 runs of the last over. How bigger of an impact that will be for Kathmandu Knights. Kathmandu Knights need 183 runs to win from 20 overs. Here they come, the Super Kings. I think they're well above par, even though it's a good batting wicket. Flying finish after some wobbles early in the innings, reduced to five for two before Lokesh Bam gets his chance at the top again. Promoted back up the order, reasonable success, but Santosh Karki 
gets his chance up. And has been expensive, seven wickets in his 11 games. Generally, he's looked like he's missing a bit of rhythm with the ball in hand. Starts right on the money. Nicely played for a quick single. We'll get the Knights chase underway. Edged and edged away for four. Third man up in the circle. Starts with a real rank one though, down the leg side. May well run away to what will be four runs, given as runs off the bat. Good strike, not so much more like it, but there's a man out there, oh no. Thought he got enough of it off the bat. The charm had gone out to long on. Santosh Karki can't believe it. The mid on drop back to the long on area and Garnish Sharma. And it looks so easy. Santosh Karki gone for eight. Kathmandu loses their first. 17. No problem players, but they have in their squad as well as overseas. Beautifully played this time by uh, Lokesh Bam. Sweep shot. Well, debut. <laughs> Direct hit is going to be very close. They'll get through for an overthrow or maybe more than one overthrow. They're going to get through for four overthrows, but we'll go upstairs. Yeah, I think the, the decision should be not out because he's made his ground before the bat then sparks up into the air. That's maybe not grounded. A tough decision for the third umpire. In the end, that's out. I think that's a correct call. Okay, Shbam. Gone for 13. Got on the nice 25 for two. So nearly the third wicket. Instead, it'll be a boundary. Hit at a catching height through the cover region. In the air, mid off fielder takes it. Rohit Powdell, he got hands like buckets, though he's a small man. Not too sure what the celebration's about. A bit of a 10 pin bowling, maybe. As soon as Rajali hit this, he just turned and walked away. He knew it was off the toe of the bat. No time in the tournament is there to hit. Got to get his feet going more than that. Rajali gone for four. It's 31 for three. Oh, look at this. Big strike, the switch hit from Malice, not something you see too often from him. Big hit down the ground, and that's vintage Gyanendra Mala. Uh, that cleared the VS box pretty easily, middle of the bat, and would have cleared any ground in the world. This could be another one, and it is. He's loving it. He's got another wicket. Look at this hit, had that deck hard. Ganu wanted to go over mid wicket but straight to long on. A simple catch to go on Shashama. Look at this, hitting the deck hard. A heavy length pulled by Sean Joseph. Second wicket for him. He has to go in the dugout for 15. Kathmandu Knights 45 for 4. Ah, uh, top edge. A simple catch to Hussain Talat. Five down for Kathmandu Knights now. Sunam Gautam goes. Look at the bounce that he had with this ball. This is beautiful bowling. To get the slip in there, to be attacking. He's bowling to take wickets. Lovely classical action. Lights it in the air, teases him. Go and hit me in the short side of the boundary. So Sunam Gotham is out for four. And Kathmandu Knights are in deep trouble. 55 for five. <laughs> what a delivery. To make matters worse, this is beautiful bowling. This is what we all dream about, left arm spinners. Have a look at this. What beautiful bowling this is. Yes, exactly, not out given by the TV umpire. Oh, oh, that's a simple catch to the keeper. And what can you do? There's nothing you can do. It's unplayable. It's good bowling from Alam. He knows if you bowl it into the wicket, the ball will stick. And it turned, bounce. It's just brilliant bowling. Nothing you can do. Bashir Ahmad goes for five. Kathmandu Knights 55 for six. Uh, that's hit up in the air. Fielder under it. Uh, Bauran Chishama takes the third catch of the innings. Look at this. Saurav Khanal tried to he heave it over mid wicket but got somehow a leading edge down to long on. A simple catch to go around to Sharma. And Khanal for one and 
Kathmandu Knights lose their seventh wicket for 56. I say I have been having conversations with him, and he has been one. He has been somebody who is very not got to keep his stylist player of the tournament so far. Look at this, easily done. A wide take for him, and very good bowling, Monty. This is sensational stuff. Absolutely poetry in motion. Got two slips in. Gives it air, entices him. He's got it on a string. And I love a stumping. That was out by Miles. And Gotham Casey is out for zero. Kathmandu Knights lose their eighth wicket for 56 runs. The games, as I said, there's nothing stopping us. We are on our way to what no. we came here to achieve. No. And we will return that favor tomorrow. Down to square leg, boundary. Yep, Shah Alam has been brilliant. Anil Karel. Is out for one, and Kathmandu Knights lose the ninth wicket for 57. Have you enjoyed Nepal so far? Uh, this is my first time in Nepal, and I have enjoyed a lot. Give some air, hit it straight down the ground, a high and handsome six. He swung hard, and he's managed to connect this one. And he's, and he's gone again. And he's enjoying himself. That's back to back sixes. Ah, oh, nicely paddled that down the fine leg by Kamal Singh Airi. Rolling towards the boundary for him. And this could be another six. And I love the air, the curve, and look, we got another one. We got a ball out, and it was all left arm spinners. It was a combination of Monty and Parrish and Virat Nagar Super Kings are into the next game. They are the deserved winners, and it's been a one-sided match for them. Absolutely brilliant from them. This was the last weekend. Slightly wider outside of stump, simple catch. And Kathmandu Knights, unfortunately, that's mobile number, to be honest, 13, 8, 15. And they couldn't deal with any other left arm spin there. They got stops and starts. Gyanan, Gyanandra Mundra got a little bit of a start, but apart from that, no one else. And Tamang was the key man there, 4 for 14. That was brilliant. 10 dot balls in 2.4 overs. What a brilliant figures they are. Talit was good as well. So, Brennogger Super Kings were brilliant. And Rohit, the captain, was brilliant. 61 of 49. And then Talit as well, continually just impressive from 38 of 23 balls.